Hi, here's an introduction to the readings for Thursday, October 5th. Well, the readings and uh, the one little assignment. The little assignment is uh, to bring to class a drawing a, or a diagram or a picture that you actually make that describes the intellectual content of this course. What are the big ideas in this class and how do they come together to form the essence of the, of the class? Can you create a picture or a diagram or a drawing that describes that? Please bring that picture to class uh, on Thursday so we can just share it and discuss it. The reading is from Jeffrey Sachs, <clears throat> excuse me, who is a very interesting person. He's a professor at the Earth Institute at Columbia University and one of the leaders in the field of environmental sustainability, especially as it relates to economics. We're going to read his chapter, and uh, chapter 9, and let me, let me prime you with a few questions to keep in mind while you do this reading because these are the things that are important and these are the kinds of things that we're going to we're going to talk about. Um, the first question is: Does Sachs have a thesis? What's his thesis? What's his argument? Um, can you state that in a sentence or two? Another question is: he, he talks about this thing called a developmental ladder. What the heck is a developmental ladder? What are the rungs on the ladder? And is it when you when you climb up the ladder? Is it is it necessary or required that you touch every rung, or is it possible to skip a rung every once in a while, or several rungs? Sachs wonders if geography is destiny. Geography is destiny. He, he points out that some places uh, are, have ports. They're next to the ocean, and uh, other, other places are landlocked. Some places have wonderful, rich soil, like we have here in Champaign County, and other places have awful soil. Um, some places have abundant natural resources and other places have scarce and uh, very little or few natural resources. Do these conditions um, create a destiny for an economy? Are you, are you um, able to break out of uh, the geographic constraints or to what extent are you able to break out of the geographic constraints? Is, in other words, is it, over, is it possible to overcome the geographic constraints that you face or the geographic opportunities that present themselves. He also talks about the difference between building an economy based on a natural resource like coal versus building an economy on something like knowledge. What's the dis difference and the, the distinction between these two possibilities, a natural resource-based economy and a knowledge-based economy? And finally, Sachs identifies four hurdles for a country when they want to adopt a new technology. What are the four hurdles and why are they important uh, for us to consider as we move towards a more sustainable future? So those are the things. There's a, it's a rich and interesting chapter that I think you'll find uh, fascinating and definitely related to the content of the class. And we'll look forward to seeing you and your diagrams on Thursday. See you then. Bye.